be back, bringing you three full auto teams, something for everyone here. We got counters, soldiers, and a mech team. So someone asked me in a comment on one of my videos, why do I use trashy gear for my the videos I create? And to sum it up, basically I use trashy gear or low quality gear in my videos on auto mode. It's to showcase the accessibility of the game to all players regardless of their gear quality. Even with basic or low level equipment, players can still obtain the minimum score needed to clear rewards. The purpose of this is to encourage the new players or those with limited resources to participate in the game mode confidently and enjoy its benefits without feeling pressured to attain high end gear from the start. Honestly, I enjoy this mode and I'd like others to as well. And if nothing else, it's to help those who don't care about danger clothes but still want to get the rewards. With that, here are the teams. Here's the free-to-play team. We have a Hilde on some tank gear. She only needs 8.4 if I remember correctly. Ground res at 110 to reach cap. So you could throw whatever other stats you want on here. Using her reactor. Very helpful in this. Lingian on CDR gear. And tag set here. Kind of messed up and didn't gear gain fully here, but it still worked out. Uh, Blaze works fine. Uh, attack speed, attack, attack. Those will all work good for her. Lelouch is on the and what, no re replica set. That's what it is. Uh, the replica set, the free one y'all get. Uh, you want him on a CDR. Very helpful in this fight, as you'll see. Orca on damage gear. CDR is probably best, but we're just going with uh, some Shadow Hall gear. Yushin would also want to be on CDR. Kinda. But you could put him on damage gear. Tarask on as much damage as we can fit. And then Soyun also on Shadow Hall gear. SSR because I ran out of SRs to put on her. So here I'm leading Lelouch. You could lead Orca, but I don't think you really need the plus one DP on auto here. So Lelouch's leader ability will give you skill amp and ultimate amp, which just increases your damage output overall. This whole entire team is free to play, easy to attain units or farmable units or units that just the game gives you. Uh, Lelouch is currently an event right now, so and he replaces Yang. Yang would definitely be better here, but we're just using him because, well, he's free. Now, a hill day isn't really needed, but I just like a reactor to be honest. The shields on your entire team are very helpful. Lelouch is going to sit here and shield even more, as well as giving you you skill haste for your entire team. So it just means you'll you'll get the pew pew more. Dushi and protecting your team from specials either one it's only one hit that I've noticed so a shield or Jushian's counter will work but we have both Lucia's ulti really doesn't do a whole hell of a lot here maybe kill some ads but that's not why we brought him we brought him so we can get big numbers oh yeah so Yun has an ulti I forget that And this was done at 0%, 10.6k, definitely can get you your rewards. So here's the soldier team. Obviously it's not full soldier, Lelouch is on this team as well. But you know, 7 out of 8, we can call it a soldier team. 
Now, I'm not going to go over the gear for this team. Uh, if you're a soldier player, then you've pretty much invested into soldier gear. So you just equip what you can, best whatever shadow hall or maze that you can sit there and throw on there. We're using Matador here because, well, it's a soldier ship. Gotta run it with the soldiers. Now we just vomit out a bunch of units. Got Choi over here for some extra DP gain. Revenant and Lelouch just giving a bunch of shields. Lelouch doesn't really help the rest of these soldiers because not they don't really have specials. But it does increase uh, Karrion's damage and Karrion's an OP unit so might as well make him look good. cool thing about this is that even if King happens to kill some of these units, they're so cheap and low cost that they just come right back out. Just swarm the man. There's not terribly a lot I can do about having a pure mech team. We have to toss in some counters. Mechs don't have a lot of units that are frankly usable. So we have to make do with a kind of hybrid team to an extent. Still 6 out of 8. Running Coffin 6 because it's a mech team. and We gotta run the mech ship. Sigma because that's all you need. Lelouch again because, well, I like the unit. And we actually have specials. Lots of specials we get to use this time. And an ulti. So because Horizon can't get knocked back, I'm putting her out before A Sigma. And granted, because of those rangers, A Sigma doesn't get to ha not that the healing would actually matter this time. But, she immediately loses her towers within a couple of seconds. So, Sigma just goes ham here. Throwing some punches. Lelouch powering up those punches, so it's nice. And the ulti. I mean, that's, that's a chunk of damage, to be honest. And then because you were running Horizon, even if King knocks people back, we're good. We still have somebody right there. A Hilde comes in for the extra shieldage at the end here. May not be 100% necessary, but it helps. There you have it. Remember to vote ban Replacer King. I hope this guide helps you and you can use one of these three teams that I made. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or find me in the Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. And I will see you all next time.